You want to know about my life? My name is Jasmine Solano. I'm a DJ, rapper, mistress of ceremonies. My tastes vary so wide. You know, you may find me in a lot of different scenes, especially in New York City. One night you may see me performing at a punk rock hip hop show in Bushwick. Another night you may see me DJing a fashion show in Midtown. You know, I grew up an 80s baby in Philly and uh, block parties were everything. My mother is a huge Motown junkie. And so I grew up listening to Wilson Pickett, Otis Redding, Aretha Franklin, Sam and Dave. Music and, you know, primarily soul and hip hop is what I really grew up experiencing. Then I went to school in Boston and started DJing on the radio when I was 17 on WERS 88.9 at night. I spun hip hop for three years and that was really my foundation for everything. It was, it was my home. My final year, the general manager offered me my own show. I decided to do an R&B soul and slow jam show and it blew up. When I moved to New York, that's when it all came together. I started out working in video production, producing a couple videos. I remember when I met Melo X, we started the party that is now infamous and known as Electric Punani. Roxy Cottontail hosts the party. Tone is also a creator and he documents and photographs. Ninja Sonic uh, approached me and said, hey, do you want to open up for us here? you want to open up for us here? And eventually they're like, do you want to come on tour with us? So um, I went on an international tour with Ninja Sonic and without them, my name would not have spread as big and as quickly as it did. And those are my boys, you know, till forever and a day. And then after that, the shows just started rolling in. I opened up for Quest Love. I opened up for Nina Sky. I met the urban marketing director of MySpace Music, Rosalyn, who was a, a guardian angel and had me open up for the likes of Ghostface, Rakim at the A3C Festival, Sean Kingston, The Clips. Time got busier to the point of no return. <laughs> so Battle for the Crown was a competition sponsored by Budweiser. And there were 10 MCs that had to compete and the winning MC would get to open up for Rock the Bells in New York City. So I show up, I'm the only girl uh, for the 10 finalists, I have the, the Mishka eyeball, spandex pants on, just whatever, acting like myself. And everyone got to do one song and uh, the judges were right there with scorecards and it was like all oh, American Idol but like hip hop style and, and I remember I tied with two other guys and Ed Lover who hosted the show said, okay, we're gonna do a freestyle round. And like every memory in my head of like college parties and like high school jam sessions and like just of all the people that I've freestyled with since I was a teenager and just I knew that no one in the room knew that though and they were expecting they weren't expecting a girl to be able to just come up there and freestyle. Um, and then I went out and freestyled, and I, and I love her, was like, it's a rap, it's Jasmine, and it's one of the best moments of my entire life. Once I won Battle for the Crown, the prize was to open up for Rock the Bells. And I was the only female in the lineup, and I got to open up for Nas, Damian Marley, Common, The Roots, House of Pain. Also, Chuck English of the Cool Kids, uh, he and I teamed up and went on a DJ MC tour together in Ohio, which was so much fun. He would DJ and I would perform and then he would spin some instrumentals and I would freestyle. And, and you know, the next big tour after that was the Deal or No Deal tour. And I went away for three months on tour with Wiz Khalifa. I was his official DJ. We hit 60 cities. 57 of them were sold out. Anywhere from 400 to 2,500 kids. Yellow Wolf joined us for the tour. 
you guys joined us for a leg and Fast Sean was on tour with us as well. The single is called That's Not It, produced by DJ Wonder. And uh, the video for it was such a blast to make. My good friend and someone that I look up to a lot, Vashti directed it, my boy Tone shot it, and Kareem Johnson, my big bro, produced it. And it basically features all of my closest friends as we invade the streets of New York City. And the, the single has become a national anthem, you know? I've performed it so many times across the country at this point that it's just a little tagline to be like, that's not it. <laughs> I'm such a hybrid of different cultures, different scenes, even different generations. I invite anyone to come see me spin and see me rap, follow me on tour, read my blog and see what my life looks like and feels like and what I think about everything I'm going through. I invite you into my, my world.